Hello Live Wires! Welcome to day four of the 10 day wire tree making challenge. Today we're going to make some tree rings. Now these designs are going to be a little bit simple but if you'd like some more advanced designs I'll link up some tutorials in the description for two other ring designs that I did with trees. Don't forget for the challenge you only need to make one project per day for the 10 days. What you're going to need for this project are your tools. I have a ring mandrel and I'm using 18 and 20 gauge wire. So the first one I'm going to take a 4 inch piece of 20 gauge wire. You probably don't even need that much and we're just going to make the shape of a pine tree. Now as with all the designs you can add beads if you like. We're just going to bend the shape of the pine tree and you can make it any size that you want. Depends on which finger you want to put it on and this one's going to be sort of a decent size but you can make it smaller and then we're going to flip it and do the other side. So just try to get this two sides the same. Uh, I'll post the template in the community section and in the Facebook event page and if the challenge is over you'll be able to purchase all the templates in my Etsy DIY shop. So we're just going to play around with this, get it the right shape, try to get it uh, symmetrical and then bring this one across. We can just compare it a little bit, bring that one straight across and then where you want the trunk to be in the middle just bend it at a right angle. This one we can center it and then I like to start the bend with my round pliers so just help it out a little bit hold it in place and I'm just going to wind it around like two or three times to make the trunk. We could pinch it up a little bit, clip the end, give it a good pinch so it stays in place and then just really get your cutters in there and just clip it as deep in as you can. You might have to bend it back and forth a bit. You can file that end too just with a file I'm just going to pinch it in a little bit. So there's our basic tree shape. For the band we're going to use 18 gauge wire. You just need a couple of inches depending on how big your finger is. We'll get the ring cone and we're just going to measure this around. Just wind it around here. Depends what size you want your ring to be. You can try it on your finger to be sure and then just imagine where the tree is going to be placed and we'll start by bending one end up here on an angle and then we can just stick that on here and imagine where the other side is going to be. So we're just going to place that, we can move it if it's easier and just bend that also up at an angle. So this is our starting point. Then these a little straight up more if it's easier and then just take this and stick it right on there. You can get your ring mandrel back and then I would grab it with your needle nose pliers just pull it back and then this one too grab it with the needle nose pliers bend it back remove it from the cone and then you could even bend these a little bit more just take the end and just push it straight down. You can give it a little give it a little pinch if you need and then just cut it flush. So just get your cutters in there, cut it flush and pinch it in. Same thing over here. Just take that, bring it in, pinch it in a little bit. Cut it flush, push that one in, in there and then I always like to put it back on the ring cone just to shape it a little bit if you have to kind of push it around. So there you have your super simple Christmas tree ring and you can add beads if you like. Now I'm going to do one a little similar to a previous ring I've made as a tree and we're just going to take two pieces of wire 8 to 10 inches long and we're going to just bring it around 
the mandrel. Bring this one over here so they're crisscross and then we're just going to like hold these ones snug. So we'll just hold this and just give it a little bit of a twist. So one, two, three, four. You don't need to twist it that much. And then we're going to push it straight up. So very similar to the ring I've made in the past. Just stick it up. But we're going to try to make these a little bit more simple. We'll bring this one over to the right. Just going to give it a little teeny twist. Just a couple of times. So that one will go out that way. And then these two, I'm just going to twist them a few times. So one, two, three. So we have the branches going out at different levels and then we're just going to do very simple little twists here. So we're just going to take this one and just bring it around one and then this one around. Start it with that, bring it around here and then this one we're going to flip around and just bring it around here. So we just have three little loops and then I'll just clip it flush and then pinch it in place and we're going to do the other three. So once you've done all the loops you can put it back on your ring cone. You can squeeze it down if you need it bigger and just stick it on here and just push these down a little bit. You can always tap them down with a mallet just to harden them up a little bit super fun stylized design. I probably would make this a little smaller because it is a little fragile but it's super cute and super fun. Thanks so much for watching the video. Be sure to join the Facebook event page to join the 10 day wire tree making challenge. If you don't have Facebook, no problem. You can email me photos of your finished work at the end of the challenge. If you create all 10 challenges, you'll be eligible to win all kinds of great prizes from Beadalon and from my Etsy shop. Details are in the description below the video. Deadline to submit a photo of all 10 of your creations is December 14th, 2021. If the deadline has passed and you want to see what other people have created in the challenge, you can still have a look at the event page. Thank you everybody for participating and for your support of my tutorials. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when I post new videos and when I go live. And we'll see you the next time.